So what is Zindex in WordPress? If you've used any blocks plugin like Blockhard Blocks, Spectra or Cadence Blocks, then you've probably come across this option right here called the Zindex. And when you use the slider, well, it does nothing. So in this video, let's understand what Zindex does. So currently I'm using the Blockhard Blocks plugin and I have this WordPress image right here and I have this colorful square or a red square. First of all, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna overlap these both images. So if I go here, select this section with the rectangle and I give it a negative margin, like negative 150 top margin, then now both these images are going to be overlapped. So now if you go back and if you select the image block here, and if you play around with the Z index, you'll see something happen. Let's give it a random value of two. You can see currently the WordPress logo is sitting on top of the rectangle, right? So you can basically understand Z index as a way to stack items on top of each other, just like a burger. You know, you've got your bun, and on top of it, you've got your patty, you got your cheese, your tomato, onions, etc. And on top of that, you've got another bun. So in this instance, you can see that the bun would have a Z index value of one and the patty would have a Z index value of two and the bun on top would have a Z index value of three. So higher the number, the higher its position is going to be on the stack. Simple as that. So in the same way, let me refresh this page. You can see here our red rectangle currently is acting like a bun and on top of it we have our circle which could be the patty onions etc so this is how z index works and you can use z index to make creative designs like this one right here from feed hive you can see they have this scribble sort of thingy right behind their content right behind their text this is one great example sure forms does the same thing with this circular kind of thingy right behind their text in fact i've done the same thing for the tegral site so if I go over to tegrel.co, you can check out the site, by the way. You can see I have this brush stroke right here, right behind WordPress. And if I were to scroll down, you can see this arrow as well. This arrow is not exactly using Z index, but I've used negative margin here. Besides this, I have used Z index here. You can see here that this arrow has quite a bit of margin change and this and it sits right behind this rectangle right here or a square, whatever. So this is how you can use Z index in WordPress and make overlapping website designs. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. I'm Sid and I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care. This video is sponsored by absolutely nobody. But if you're interested in learning how to earn money using WordPress creating websites, then you might want to head over to techgirl.co, my very own website. And if you're not interested, well, then you may simply continue with the video. Thanks.